Hi, this is your Dr. Bitla Venu. Welcome to Avishkar. In this session, I will show you how to draw the projections of the cylinder with the given conditions. Let me take the problem first. And the given problem is a cylinder of 40 mm diameter and 50 mm axis is resting on one of the point of the base circle on VP such that the axis makes an angle 45 degrees with VP. And the front view of the axis makes an angle 35 degrees with horizontal plane. Draw the projections. I read out the problem once again. A cylinder of 40 mm diameter and 50 mm height is resting such that the one of the point of the base is making an angle with 45 degrees, making an angle of 45 degrees with a vertical plane. Then the front view of this vertical plane is making an angle of 35 degrees with a horizontal plane. That means one of the point is touching on the vertical plane and it makes an angle of 45 degrees and the axis of this cylinder is making an angle of 35 degrees with horizontal plane. These are the two conditions. With these two conditions, we have to draw the projections of the cylinder. Now, with this, in the, in the problem, it is clearly given that the cylinder is placed and one point of the base is touching on the vertical plane. That means we have to draw the front view first, assuming that the cylinder is placed placed on the vertical plane. That means the base is completely placed on the vertical plane. That means in this case, the front view is a circle and top view is a rectangle. That means the front view is the true shape, then top view will be the, uh, will, will be the, the true shape, front view and top view. Now we start our drawing and draw an XY line first then draw the uh, front view first. It is a circle. In this case, because the cylinder is placed in such a way that the base is on, lying on HP, ba base is lying on vertical plane like this, then divide this into equal divisions like this, then project the points, division, divided points like this downwards, that means draw a front view as a circle and a rectangle in the top view. Then divide, project all these points downwards like this and this will become A, this will become C, then this will become and the bottom, the bottom circle is 1, 2, 3, 4 and the top circle of the cylinder is A, B, C, D. Whenever the cylinder base is lying on the vertical plane, the front view is a circle, top view is a rectangle, right? Then let me move further to C by considering the first condition. The first condition is that the axis, uh, the one of the point of the vertical plane, one of the, one of the point of the base circle is touching with the vertical plane such that it axis makes an angle of 45 degrees with VP. Then draw a line, draw, draw a line at an angle of 45 degrees, at an angle of 45 degrees, then twist this. Now initially this is making an angle 90 degrees with the vertical plane. Now 90 degrees with the vertical plane now. Now twist this cylinder to the 45 degrees with the same dimensions. So draw, draw an inclined line at an angle of 45 degrees and take the diameter in the compass, then draw a perpendicular line here, then locate all these points or generate the same shape at an angle of 45 degrees using compass. Take the compass uh, and locate C point, A point, three and one, and similarly B, D, which are at exactly mid of this rectangle. Then after generating the uh, uh, top view, then after generating the top view of the cylinder, which is at an angle of 
45 degrees in the vertical plane, then we have to generate at this condition or in this condition the front view also. Then to generate the front view, project all these points A, B, C, D and 1, 2, 3, 4 upwards like this. Then draw the horizontal lines from the front view of the cylinder when it is exactly lying, one of the base is lying on the vertical plane. It is the true shape in the front view. So draw the horizontal lines like this. Then get the intersection points. So B we will get here and A, A, A dash, then B we will get here, B, B dash, then C, C dash we will get here, then we will get D, D dash we will get here. Then similarly, four point, this is our third point, three dash, three, three dash, then four, four dash we will get here, then one, one dash, one, one dash we will get one point here, two, two dash we will get two dash here, then join all those points like this to get the front view of the cylinder when the axis is making an angle 45 degrees with the vertical plane in such a way that one of the point of the cylinder, one of the base point of the cylinder is touching on the vertical plane like this. Then we will get one dotted line here because this edge we cannot see so that we need to represent this edge as a dotted line. Then we move further to draw or consider the second condition also. The first condition is that the, the axis of the cylinder is making an angle 45 degrees with the vertical plane that we have drawn. And also one of the point, one of the base point of the cylinder is making an angle and touching one of the base point of the cylinder is also touching the vertical plane and as well as 45 degrees with vertical plane. This is what the first condition. The second condition is that then the axis, then the axis of the cylinder is also making an angle of 35 degrees with HP. The axis is making 45 degrees VP and the axis is also making 35 degrees with HP. In this condition, we have to draw the front view and top view. Then uh, to draw the front view, to draw the front view, draw an inclined line at an angle of 35 degrees. Then similarly, project all these points or draw the similar shape at an angle of 35 degrees with the horizontal. Now the now this cylinder is not making any angle with the horizontal now. It is only making an angle with the vertical plane that is 45 degrees. Now we have to twist this. We should make sure that the cylinder should make at an angle of, making at an angle of uh, 35 degrees with horizontal plane. Draw an inclined line at an angle of 35 degrees. Then take the compass, transfer all those heights, transfer all those points A dash to D dash and as well as 1 dash to 4 dash uh, using the compass. So after drawing the uh, front view at a condition that the axis of the cylinder is making at an angle of 35 degrees with horizontal plane, then project all these points downwards like this. Project all these points downwards. Then project the horizontal lines from the first condition. The first condition is the cylinder is making an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical plane and draw the horizontal lines from the top view of the cylinder when it is making 45 degrees to get the different points from the top view of the cylinder from the front view of the cylinder when it is making 30 degrees and from the top view of the cylinder when it is making 45 degrees we will get all the intersection points like this then project all those points join all the front view or the front view and top view to get the smooth curve at the top and bottom like this. So this will be the projections of the cylinder when one of the point of the cylinder is touching on the vertical plane and it is making an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical plane 
and also it is making an angle of 35 degrees with the horizontal plane these are the projections of the cylinder with these conditions thank you we will discuss one more example in the next session thank